And if anybody wants a seedling of bronze, please see they're all seedling themselves in there. We can give you a seedling to take home and put in your garden. Um, because see how generous nature is. Fennel, uh, the seeds are used um, in tea, but we can also use the leaves. They are particularly good with fish. Um, traditionally, so if you're baking fish, put them on a bed of fennel and you'll get a nice Fish is very tasty, isn't it? So you really want something to, to tasty. Um, it's carminative, which is soothing to the gut and it tastes very it's nice. To the gut, um. Yeah, um, and it tastes really nice. And if you want to taste it, some of those ones high up should be fine. Uh, no, the root is, the, you're thinking of the fennel you buy in the grocery shop. That's highly cultivated. The same way that uh, parsnip is a cultivated root herb and dandelion is a wild one. All right. So it's, a, it's, it's the same family, I think, but it's cultivated for that lower stem. It's not the root, it's, it's that lower stem bit of it. Yeah. So next year, for your only advance possible, um, next year, You'll come and you'll go, oh yeah, that was the one she did last, she put in last year, like the verbena. It's a lovely smell. Um, and the seeds make it very good, along with chamomile and mallow, they make a very good after dinner tea. And that, that one, right? What is that? This is just a pretty flower.